All right, this video clip is going to look at how we can make adjustments to the microscope for you personally to use it. And they come out of the cabinet just like this, just like the picture behind me, and you can use them this way, and it'll be perfectly acceptable for you if this is how you're comfortable. You just look in the eyepieces and turn the adjustment knobs, and it'll work just fine. Some people prefer to use it with the eyepieces turned around. To do that, you unlock the screw on the side. You don't have to unlock it completely. Then turn the head so that the eyepieces are rotated 180 degrees. Then lock down the screw again. And then you would look through the eyepieces here and reach to the back of the microscope to adjust the, um, to turn the adjustment knobs at the back, um, which is perfectly acceptable as well. Per it completely comes down to what you're most comfortable with. I'm going to turn this back around the other way so that I can show you some things on the microscope as we're going through here. The second thing we're going to adjust is um, your interpupillary distance. We're going to do this by using the eyepieces right here. And there's a round circle that you can see in between the eyepieces here. And this is where we're going to look at um, what, what your actual interpupillary distance is. So to do this, you grab onto the sides of the eyepieces, put one hand on each one, look into the microscope just like you would a pair of binoculars, and then you um, move the eyepieces up or down so that when you look through the eyepieces, you see one image through both eyepieces at the same time. Once you've done that, you've got it you know, positioned where you want it, you're going to record your interpupillary distance. Again, we're going to look at that circle in between the eyepieces. You're going to look right there and try and determine um, what your interpupillary distance is. We do that by looking at two little black dots next to each of the eyepieces. There's one next to each eyepiece. The first one is right here. You can see it right there. The other one's going to be behind me right here. And you look at where they line up on this circle. Record those two numbers, and then every time you come in and use your microscope, just position those dots in those positions, and you're ready to go. Your interpupillary distance is set. You shouldn't have to look in it and adjust it again. The last thing we're going to look at on these scopes is specific for people who wear eyeglasses. If you don't wear eyeglasses, um, you wouldn't make this adjustment. If you do, you want to make it so that you can be closer to the microscope and the image that you're trying to see. The eyepieces themselves have little rubber cups at the top, and normally these should be folded up so that um, if you look at the one that my fingers are grasping, that one is folded up, and people without eyeglasses would use them in those positions. The eyepiece that's closest to you is folded down. If you wear eyeglasses, you would want to do this with both of them. You do that by grasping the little rubber cup and then folding it back so that it's folded back all the way along around the edge of the eyepieces. You do this so that when you look in the microscope, you're closer to your object and you have a better view of what you see. Okay. Those are all the adjustments you can make on the scope for yourself. So uh, that's the end of this video clip.